All right, guys and girls. If you haven't checked out my video on modes in the previous video, flip back to that. It's all going to be in the same playlist because that will give you an understanding of what I'm going to talk about today, which is just getting outside the box, playing your chords, and uh, maybe coming up with some new chords, some different chords. And we're going to be using the notes of a C major scale, which I spoke about in the last video as well, to build on chords because it's something I didn't really touch on in the last video, but it's useful. And all it's trying to do is just be able to get your outside of your box and think what sounds nice so we're not even going to talk about the names of any of these crazy chords because i feel as though that can hold you back sometimes when you want to learn that that is a a minor add nine kind of shape you know but it does sound really nice again which i spoke about in the last video just learning each note on the on the guitar neck just using a google chart you don't need to know them off by heart just got to refer to them to find the different shapes just giving you a basic idea of how to run with it and then it's up to you to write your beautiful songs my good friend tony <laughs> sold me a beautiful camera which you're watching which is going to completely change the channel as well so I'm really excited about that. It means some really cool music videos. The possibilities are endless now. So brilliant, thank you so much, Tony. Let's get into it. What are we gonna do first? Let's pick a random chord that we've derived from the C major scale, which I spoke about in the last episode. If you don't know, go back. Let's take an A minor. There's our A minor chord. Let's add some random notes from the C major scale. So let's go in there and let's raise this A up to a B. Sounds nice, doesn't it? We've got this ring finger, and it's not doing anything, it's just hanging there. So let's chuck it on the top string, and let's add a G note in there. So we've added a G and a B note to an A minor chord. There you go, that gives us a lovely sound. It's actually a chord in one of my favourite bands. Uh, songs, Le Doigt de l'Homme, The Fingers of Men. <laughs> and if you get a seventh chord, it always leads you, it always hangs on, and it leads you into another chord. This is what you might find when you start adding chords. You get um, sus chords. That's a C chord, and I've put the, added the pinky on the D string to create a, an F note. You need a slight musical ear to go, right, where is that going? wants to resolve so you've got to think about uh, resolving your chords as well it's no good going to a it could work theoretically it works but um, musically you want to know where that's going that note wants to go badly back down to that third so you've got to think about little things like that but that third note uh, let's, let's try and change that up. Let's not go to the obvious. Let's not go to the C. I've never done this before, but let's try something. See, that A minor chord's in there. Although it's an A minor seventh chord because I'm not playing the uh, A note. Again, I could add that pinky on the G. Let's try that. See. Let's try something further up. So let's try a C chord. We know that the triad is made of C, E and G, which was in the previous episode. So we've got a C, an E and a G triad. If you didn't know that was that, you do now because a bar chord is C, G, C, E, G and a C. So we're just playing, we're actually playing three notes when we're playing a bar chord. But we'll just take the top of that bar chord, drop that C note to a B. Gives us a C major sound. Let's change the, uh, let's change the root note of that. Let's change it to an A. I wonder if it'll work over some other chords. Let's uh, play a D and keep these the same. Not too great. 
So this is what I'm talking about. You've got to experiment a little bit. Theoretically, it works. Or so some of the times you'll go, uh, no, no. Let's try adding a G note in there. And let's add that C back in. Let's get crazy. Let's add an F. Now we know an F's in there. So you know that that you know that that note that wants to resolve. Never played that chord before. Maybe to a D minor. But we'll take some fingers out to let some strings ring out. We've got a G and an E there that can ring out. Same with the C. So I'm playing a bar chord, but I'm taking out some strings. I'm letting that G and the E ring out because they're all in the C major scale and they all pretty much work. Let's step outside the C, this won't apply to the C, but let's say we had a chord progression that went G to an E minor. Should we try and fancy it up a bit? Don't have to, we could just have G and E minor, so it's quite nice, but uh, let's fancy it up. Why don't we play that? It's almost like a D over a G note. What are we doing? Are we playing a D chord over a G or are we playing a G major 7th? I don't know. Let's keep that top shape and let's play an E minor. Let's go to a C but keep that top shape. See what I mean guys, I'm, I'm just I'm just showing you how my brain works and how you'd come up with uh, different songs um, and different ideas just to try and get you outside that box a little bit. I'm really hoping this is making sense. So there you go guys, I really hope that helped. If you've got any chord progressions that are just, not just, I don't mean just, but if you're, if you're bored of playing them, um, it's up to you if you are. Change them up a bit, add a pinky. lots of different ways to play that and you'll start and once you find a chord it's there it's in your head so you know to play it next time next time is modal interchange so we can apply all of those crazy chords um, and coming up with different ones we can apply the modes that we spoke about in the first episode and then we can come up with some really wacky out there chord progressions that sound totally different to all the pop songs at the moment in <laughs> the charge which are a one three five you know uh, chord progression love you job see you next time boys and girls <laughs>